I woke up in Massachusetts this morning, and this is such a cool feeling. Since I night hiked last night, I definitely decided to sleep in this morning. It's after 8 o'clock, and I haven't left my sleeping bag. I might go get my food from the bear box now and just chill and have breakfast. <laughs> I just noticed that there are like holes in the bottom of my, of my shoe. I did order a new pair on Amazon and they should be delivered to my mom's house in a couple days, but dang, the rocks did that. These shoes, I want to say have like five or 600 miles on them so far, so definitely expected them to start breaking down soon, but like just looking at the tops, they looked perfectly fine, but the holes are all like in the bottom of the shoes and like in the shoes, like right here. <laughs> I was like halfway through with taking my tent down, then realized in the last video I said I was going to show you what the setup looked like. But yeah, these two stakes were able to stake into the grounds, but like the stakes over here, I just kind of did that. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, the stake can go into these little screw things. So. All the stakes were in those screws except for those two and it worked out really well. All right, here is the sign that I was looking for. Welcome to Massachusetts. Good job. So even though I've lived in Massachusetts for like 20 years, I've never really been to Western Mass. There's not much out here at all. They're stretching the distance. Welcome to New England. Oh, this is the trail. Not gonna lie, that's really fun to do. This is the summit of Mount Everett. There used to be a fire tower up here. Not anymore. You can you can kind of see the mountain that just came from right there. Couple up and downs today already. Ooh. I am definitely sweating and definitely gonna drink a lot of Gatorade today. All right, I just wrapped up lunch. It's probably like four o'clock, it's pretty late, but I got to a road crossing and Fresh Ground was there. I didn't know that was gonna happen, so it was a nice pleasant surprise. He had burritos, and it's always such a good time at that trail magic, just sitting, laughing, meeting new hikers, telling stories, and eating a lot. So I'm really glad that happened, but we still have like 11 miles to go so it might be another late night but it's so worth it and i'm really happy right now
So I'm just hanging out on this lookout for a little bit. I have two and a half miles left of today's hike, but no more elevation. So that's exciting. Today is going to end up being a 20 mile day and it's, I don't know, 7.30 right now. So these days are ending a lot later than I feel like they used to. I feel like in Pennsylvania and even Virginia, I was able to do 25 mile days and get to camp at like four or five o'clock. And that's just not the case anymore. I think I'm getting further north and the terrain is surprising me. Um, it's a little frustrating, but at the same time, I'm also really proud of myself and how far I can push myself and how strong my legs feel and look like I'm noticing so much, so many muscles and it's just, it's just cool. And I'm just like looking out at this view. I'm just really happy to be in New England. I just feel very at peace here. I swear I haven't had a lasagna in a very long time. I used to have a lasagna every single night, but it's probably been like, I don't know, maybe almost a month. 